Hello guys, for today's video, we will talk about um, the geometric mean. So, the geometric mean has two uh, formula. We have the square root of a sub 1 multiplied by a sub 2. And also, we have the arithmetic mean, which is equivalent to the sum of value over the number of value, which is just taking the average. So, um, we are tasked to find the geometric mean. So, um, we have the given. Given, which is a sub 1 is equivalent to 64, and then a sub 2 is equivalent to 4. So, our geometric mean is equivalent to the square root of a sub 1, a sub 2. So, we have geometric mean is equivalent to Geometric mean is equivalent to square root of 64 times 4. So, what do we have? Using the calculator, using the calculator, um, we will obtain the value of 16. So, that is our final answer. And the next one is the geometric progression. So, we have many formulas noted here we have geometric progression number one formula a sub n is equivalent to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1 as n is equivalent a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1 over r minus 1 wherein r is greater than 1 so we can just take note in this one and then these are the values a sub n and term a sub 1 first term r is the common ratio a m is the m term and s n is the sum so we have sample here the sample are the, the numbers 28 x plus 2 and 112 form a geometric progression what is the 10th term so we need to find the 10th term in this problem so we have the given our given r um, 28 um, x plus 2, and then 112. So, in our um, formula, it says here that R is equivalent to A sub 2 over A sub 1. Also, R is equivalent to uh, A sub 3 over A sub 2. So, by substituting, this will be our a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. So, we substitute it, we have x plus 2 all over um, 28 and um, a of 3, which is 112 over a sub 2, which is 28. Okay? I mean, x plus... Um, R, A sub 2, A sub 2. Mali pala. We should have here uh, X plus 2. Okay. 1, 12 over X plus 2. Um, we should delete this. One. Okay. So, we can equate this one to find our X value. So, we have R is equivalent to R. So we have X plus 2 over 28 is equivalent to 112 over X plus 2. By using the calculator, ano, um, we should use shift solve. We can find the value of X. The value of X is 54. Um, we can substitute 54 in this one. So we will have 54 plus 2 over 28 is equivalent to R value. So, what is our R value now? So, by calculator, we can have the value of 2. So, since we have 2, we can use our first formula now. Because we already have R. And we have A sub N. I mean, we have R, we have N. N. Um, we are tasked to find here uh, the geometric progression. So we have a sub 10 because we're looking for that 10th term. 
and then we have to write our a sub 1 which is 28 multiplied by the r which is 2 raised to the n which is 10 minus 1 so when we solve this one a r a sub 10 will be equivalent to 1400 uh, 14,336. So that is our final answer. Also, we can use calculator technique. Um, by using calculator technique, um, Caltech, we use uh, mode 3, 6. And then we have our x and y value. Our x value would be um, 1 and 3 because 1 and 3. And then our value, y value would be 28 because 28 is our first term and our third term, term will be 112. We we can also put x plus 2 but it will be more complicated. So, in using Caltech, we just need two modes. I, I mean two values. So, this will do. Press AC and then shift 1 Five, five. So we will arrive with um, the value of a sub 10, which is equivalent to 14336 as well. Okay, so we're finding the 10th term. So let's try it. We have um, mode uh, 3, 6, 1, and 3. Also, in the next one is 28. And 112, press AC, shift, 155. The 10th, we have 1436. So, we need uh, to plug it like this. 10Y, or equivalent to A sub 10. So, this is the final answer. So, uh, as I was saying, um, we use Caltech just to um, counter check our answer. That's it. Thank you for watching.